Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can data drive our smart assertions in Ready API. So to begin, I've already created a project and within the project, we have a login test case. So we have a login request here and we're currently data driving this request. So as you can see, we're pulling in a list of usernames and passwords from an Excel spreadsheet here and we're looping through those in our request. In the response, we do have a message field. And if we have a look at our data source here, we actually have three columns that we're pulling in from the Excel spreadsheet. So we have a username, password, and we have a message column as well. Now, the message column is going to relate to our expected outputs for the message field. So for instance, if we pass through the values of Adrian and test one for the username and password, the expected message should be login successful. Now, what we're going to do is go back to our request. We're going to create a smart assertion and we're going to be able to data drive the smart assertion. So we're going to be able to say, okay, as we loop through all of our rows of data, we're also going to be able to check the messages in relation to what we have in our data source. Now, the smart assertion here will allow us to create one assertion that checks multiple fields. So for instance, for my first name and last name fields here, I'm going to be able to just check for the existence of these fields. So not for specific values. However, for my message field, I want to check for specific values, but at the moment, these values are hard coded. So I can remove the hard coded values we can use the get data functionality in Ready API, and I can choose my message column from the data source. Now, when we choose this, we can see Ready API builds out the expression for us here. Now, we can also choose whether this is going to be case sensitive or not. So I can remove the case sensitive field or disable it. We can save our smart assertion and then we can run our test case again. So when we run the test case, we can now see the majority of tests have passed. However, we do have one failure. And when we open up this failure, uh, we can see this fail test step. And if we look in the messages, we can see that the expected value, the response value was login unsuccessful. However, the actual value that we received from the API was login successful. So this allows us to do the comparison between the expected values that we have in our data source against the actual values we receive from our API. Thanks for watching.